So I was recently on a stream uh, talking about a variety of issues, and uh, some of the issues that came up hit on some of the topics that I've been covering lately, not the least of which are the transphobia and the uh, rise of bigotry on Twitter uh, since Elon Musk took over, and the kinds of people that support that sort of thing and keep that sort of thing going. So... Let's let's be absolutely clear that um, that is a problem, even if Elon Musk wants to point at one interviewer who softballed him and clearly wasn't prepared for the interview, and say you you just lied. Yeah, sure, maybe that guy lied, but it doesn't mean what he said isn't true, <laughs> and uh, what he said is absolutely true that there's been a rise in hate speech on the platform. Now. You know, to be to be clear, I haven't seen much more on my For You page, but I have seen some on my For You page, and, and it's been there. So, you know, uh, I've been going pretty, like, hard in the fucking paint against Elon Musk and him being a lying, censorious hack. But this uh, video here touches on not only Elon Musk, but also a variety of other subjects, and this is just a clip from the stream. The full stream will be in the description, and this will also be parsed out and added to YouTube Shorts, TikToks, and Facebook Reels. Um, you can find me on all of those places uh, in the links in the description. Uh, but people were asking me to start doing that, so I plan to start doing that. Uh, if there's a market for it, I might as fucking well. Um, ultimately, though, yeah... This uh, stream was relatively productive, I think, and uh, I decided to take this particular clip out of it and uh, give y'all all the more reason to smash the fucking state. We'll see what happens with Linda and her evil reign over Twitter. Maybe everybody will run to Bastion and be like, hey, we're going to fight back. And then the uh, evil dudes will be like, oh, no, we've lost. If anything, the evil people, uh, the, the people are just going to run to like Gab and Parlor and, you know, Blue Sky and uh, fucking Truth Social and all these other places that are manufactured so that the people with the most extreme beliefs will all be coalesced in the same place and easily trackable by their shared identity. And we're all going to be siloed into severe echo chambers where we're going to be pitted against each other and act like the other is the problem when the real problem is those puppeteering the whole situation until balkanization drives us into a civil war and we all die at our own hands. No, no. Okay. Well, all right. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to get into the best country ever to give you some hope. So there's this awesome country in Africa that could be the model for the world. And I, I mean, in a joke, I say that jokingly, but like, um, even if that does happen, what would happen is probably like after 1991, after they threw Muhammad Said Bari over, the warlords did fight amongst each other. Then they got tired of it because nobody could gain ground. And there was a power sharing equilibrium. Is that perfect anarchy? I, we had that complete, we had a fight, I think an hour in uh, Key Base. Fine. No, it's not. It's more like red market equilibrium. There, there's the term of what that is. And it's closer to minarchism, but it's more preferable than centralized violence. Well, but here's the thing. It's just multiple different centralized violence. As far as I'm concerned, what I want personally, I would rather have like various, um, like, communes i would i would rather have um you know you something that, something closer to chayron i would rather have something <sighs> uh closer to you know like personally and this is the real shit i want to see all of these anarchist philosophies compete but i want to see the anarchist philosophies compete and we can't get there if we don't start I mean, there but okay here uh, well one's interesting thing you could uh, you could technically have someone who's because there's people who like Matt, I talked to a guy, I'm trying to get him on here. There's people like Steiner who are also ANCAPs and ANCOMs, which is interesting to see. There's probably people who believe in both. I mean, is it in a crazy way? I believe in nature. I do believe in, in, in using nature to, to, you know, getting back to nature in some ways. But then I also like some of these, you know, I've looked in like, oh, hey, how do you um, use advanced technology like red light therapy, cryotherapy um, 
to enhance things. So I'm not saying I'm a trans anarcho transhumanist, but, but I, I, you know, you can see like how solar punk competes with this. Um, you can see what mutual aid does. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, but if you have red market equilibrium and you have the ability to get the word out through things like discord and telegram, that's a feasible thing to do that the Somalis did not have access to. So what I'm saying is, yeah, you could, you could, Red market equilibrium could be a step in the right direction. Is that, hey, we're all fighting each other and we get sick of it. I know that's not ideal, but maybe I've been, but but I have a lot of faith in, well, you know, you know who my main uh, thought process J is. JC asks, how similar is Chayron to a Hoppy and Covenant community? It's basically not. That's your answer. It's, it's the best. It's the best place in Mexico. That was actually... Everybody was laughing at Vice. They're like, ha ha, they went bankrupt. And part of me is like, ha ha. But I'm like, you know what? They did a really good story and they did really good coverage on J. Ron. So, yeah. And then they told people that. not to take ivermectin because it's horse meds and then immediately told people to take mifepristone. Yes. Which was really bad. I'm just saying, a little piece of me is like, man, <laughs> it's like I said, they had one good story. They had, they had multiple good stories closer to their founding. Yes. Um, the, clo the further you got away from that, the more they sold out and watered down and worked for the military industrial complex and the imperialists. So, And they literally got funded to make some of their content about the military industrial complex by the military industrial complex. And uh, eventually they just sold out to the point where they were 100% mainstream with an, a weird edge attached to it. And you got stories about how to crush up horse pills for uh, for like inducing abortions. Did you hear about that? You seem like you haven't. Uh, what? That doesn't yeah. make sense. I, I don't even want to go into that. Okay, okay. No, no, I, I'm going to go into it now. You you oh you done did you done did trugger to me. I've got to I've got to say this. I've got to I've got to I've got to expose the truth. Um. So Please. basically. A while back, Vice Motherboard, uh, which is a Vice outlet, says misoprostol, as I said mifepristone, but it's misoprostol is relatively easy to acquire from veterinary sources, since in addition to medically inducing abortions, it's also used to treat ulcers in horses. Okay. Anarchist Collective shares instructions to make DIY abortion pills. DIY medicine... Um collectives are preparing for the horrifying prospect that roe v wade will be overturned and then it said you may be reminded of ivermectin which is used to control parasites in oh, it became a favored but ineffective covid treatment among conspiracy theorists the main difference here is that misoprostol does something other than giving you the shits so then i posted Vice are a pack of lying, dangerous hacks. Misoprostol is given in conjunction with mifepristone. Without both, serious complications can happen. And again, with the horse narrative, both pills are prescribed to humans. Ivermectin is a Nobel Prize winning drug misinformation. If t Twitter's missing context and misinformation labels were for anything legitimate, this thread would have them. Which means what they're really for is enforcing the mainstream narrative and stifling dissenting voices. A de facto ministry of truth. Twitter didn't include a community notes on that for a fucking year. I, okay. I don't even know what to think of that. That's really... Crush up horse pills to get an abortion. That's what you think. Do what Vice tells you to. <laughs> Oh my god, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. It doesn't matter if this pill is possibly also going to cause you serious complications because you didn't have the accompanying mifepristone. It doesn't matter if this is off books medicine because like that that would this actively is, damage just, you. This is just dumb. This is just dumb. This isn't like it just it, okay. <laughs> I fucking hate those people. I want to watch them burn metaphorically. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> you just look blown away by how fucking evil that is. I just, uh, there's certain things I don't know what to make of, and I just sit there, and I'm like, oh, like, I got, like, there's a certain level of clown world where I'm just like, okay, like, it, it is there. It exists, but, like, it perplexes me how clown world it is. And 
some things people do on the left and the right just amaze me to no end. Like people like this horse stuff and people are obsessed with a Bud Light can spokesperson and Bud Light's a crappy beer and like And it was beer. one can. Yeah, it was one can and that it's like a boycott. It's like, dude, I'm like the, your dollar is collapsing. They're like, yeah, but there's I'm like, I don't care. I don't drink I don't drink Bud Light. You couldn't pay me to drink Bud Light at all. Like yep. for one, I make a good bit of money on crypto. That's why I'm like messing with you couldn't pay me to what like why do we care? I don't care. I don't care what they put on a Bud Light can at yep. all. At all, they could put put Benito Mussolini. I'm like, okay, fine, great. Like, they, they, <laughs> you know, I just and and like it's that it's that it's that, and that's the thing when you know people like the, the transphobes I've been going against, like Justin, for instance. When people like this want to say that the trans issue is part of the elite's agenda. Yeah, you're part of the elite's agenda because you're allowing everything to be distracted and derailed by bigotry rather than focusing on the actual evil the elites are actually doing. The vast majority of trans people don't like harm children. The vast majority of uh, children that are harmed are harmed by heterosexual people, not trans, that they personally know in their family or something. Well, and the vast majority of this issue is on the other side. But they want to point the finger at trans people. They want to point the finger at homosexuals because they get to then seem superior without doing any fucking work at all. And they are playing right into the elite's agenda. And that's why Elon Musk let it happen, because he is an elite. He's a billionaire who got there through government contracts and serving the elites. He <laughs> helps them with their military and intelligence industrial complexes. And he's helping them build AI and stick wires in your brain. And control yeah. your transportation, and control your finances, and control your everything, and even control your speech now. And yeah. you just lap it up because he lets you say things against trans people. That's your you, whipping boy. You That's like your it. punching bag. That's your boogeyman. And you don't give a fucking shit about these sorts of things. That's well, not people, fingers not for you, by the way. People aren't educated on leftists and a lot of, or, or, or I would say, like you know, people who are on the left who are actually anti-establishment. So they just lump them all into one group just like they do on the right and then people make crazy assumptions and and they also do that to me too i can't count on how i can count on how many times probably about 20 to 50 times now i've been called a neo-feudalist dude the closest i ever got to a king was killing leoric with um a monk in diablo that's the closest i've, I've never got. played diablo it's supposed to be yeah. good I don't, I don't know why Ancoms call me a neo-feudalist. They can't explain that. They just scream. Ah. Well, maybe that could be another stream where I go over yes. like the neo-feudalist implications of certain ANCAP mentalities. But, um, you know, Dude. it's like it's like Earth Nerd says, can you imagine how pretty we'd all be sitting if communities had to compete for your living there? Wild. Yeah. That would throw us on the other side of that deficit. Yeah, it does. All right. Casey and also grand grassroots and DIY internet in Detroit coordinated by neighbors for themselves for their own communities. Yes, MeshNet. Peer-to-peer, -peer, motherfuckers. Torrent everything. Make everything torrents. We'd be so much better off. Yep. The Bear says we could all have three holes in our fire selectors and our houses wouldn't get burned down and our dogs wouldn't get shot if there were no ATF. The ATF is the root of all evil. Nice how the trans community has armed up over the past couple months. Now when they come for our hormones, we can say Molon La Bay Kalashnikov style. Interesting. That's the trans anarchist community I was talking about, people. They're much better than these conserva cucks. I promise. What is their, what is their name? The Baramur. Oh, Liberimer. Oh, okay. Can 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 me and you? Uh, is that the one you're a part of? Can, what? Can, can I can I join just to be like, hey? If you want to join my server, you're welcome too. Oh, okay. I, I, you know, I've I've been. It's not like I've been trying to like hide it from you. But I've I've been sort of waiting for you to ask, but I don't want to I'm, fucking preach. I'm not a neo feudalist. There's no kings in my family. There There's are ang caps in my server. There are oh, okay, people cool. of all persuasions. It's not and like the, there's I no don't bar ANCAP, people, and there is no ANCAP neo feudalist pipeline that doesn't exist. I've not, I know tons of ANCAPs. I've never seen one guy say, oh. I'm king, I'm king, here's my sword, there's I knight you. 
there are plenty of ANCAPs who have become uh, alleged anarcho-monarchists. There are plenty of ANCAPs that who have... That, that can't exist. Okay, but it doesn't That's mean it like doesn't happen. That's like a straight-edge alcoholic. It doesn't happen. It, it does happen, though. It's, it, it's, it doesn't not happen. <laughs> they're afraid it's going to happen with you. It doesn't... That doesn't... I'm... Find me one guy, one dude. I'm not talking about like retards like Cantwell. Uh, find me one dude who sat up and been like, "Man, Rothbard's good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my own kingdom." All right, Matt, Matt Erickson, King Pilt. Okay, it's probably like a vermin supreme type dude. No, <laughs> he's more of he's more of an Andrew Tate than a vermin supreme. I, he's a piece of shit. I don't even hate Andrew Tate sometimes. I do. Sometimes. He's a fucking sexual assaulter, dude. What? He's a sexual assaulter rapist who fucking hates... a sex trafficker who hates fucking video games. He calls people like you weak beta males. Why do you not dislike him? I haven't heard him say that. Because you haven't listened to most of what he says, probably. I mean... Let's let's have an anti-Andrew Tate panel at some point. I'll, I'll be on that. Okay. I see what he says. From what I've seen on some of his things, it's just saying, hey, if you're a young guy, get out there and work hard. And Andrew Tate is a cunt. You saw a few things that his fucking audience sent out on YouTube shorts or something, and then I'm... you walked away. Yep, correct. Like, he, he says, like, a few good things sometimes, and then the rest of it is misogynistic, rapey, racist garbage. And he literally grew his following initially by scamming dudes, by 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 pretending to be a woman, feeding a, a cam model lines, and then getting that cam model to fleece like six different dudes uh, out of their income. He's a fucking scumbag. He's a piece of shit. Okay, that's some pretty bad stuff. And these women that he brought in, a lot of them decided that they didn't want to do it anymore or be there. And he kept them there. And then when they decided enough was enough, he threw them out without paying them. And, uh, and, and like, they had nothing and nobody. He's a sex trafficker. Okay. I fucking hate, like, Andrew and his whole goddamn cadre. That's the reason when Clint at Liberty Lockdown started to say that he was followed by this guy. was like, well, hey, you can promote him if you want, but... I kind of wouldn't want to promote a sex trafficker and a abuser I'm as a libertarian. I, I like Clint at Liberty Lock. That, that'll say. I know you Clint, blocked me because I brought that up. I know Clint at Liberty Lockdown. Um, and uh, we, we get along. We get along pretty well. Uh, JC says, not to defend Tate, but if you lost all your income to some e-girl, catfish or not, that's all on you. Except it's not. Um, and it's not like all their income. It's just that the, he, he preyed on vulnerable dudes. And then he kept on preying on vulnerable dudes afterwards by selling his course to vulnerable dudes. He just does that. He preys on vulnerable dudes. That's his whole grift. 